Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Brad. I'm your Mater D on this journey that is being a Caps fan this season. Thanks for clicking on this video because let's be honest you didn't have to but now that you have why don't you go ahead and click that like button for me and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There's many many more videos to come, much more Caps content to cover and uh, we have a lot to talk about. Caps win 5-3 to three over the Buffalo Sabres and it, even though it was the Buffalo Sabres it's still exciting that the Caps won because they broke the losing streak. Their first real Real losing streak of the season even though it was just three games it felt like forever and the Caps finally are back in the win column and they did it in regulation it's just like a moral victory at this point for the Caps to finish out a game not in overtime and this game is super mixed feelings because as excited as I am that the Caps ended up winning and played a pretty good game well on the flip side of that coin the Caps kind of played a messy game. It's really polarizing to have a game where sometimes your team is playing really, really well, and then sometimes your team is playing pretty crappy and you just want to reach to that TV and smack their heads together. Like Tom Wilson, Tom Wilson who had two goals on the night, but also Tom Wilson who had a lot of giveaways, who has had a lot of giveaways in recent games as well, one directly leading to a goal. It's just infuriating when players play like that. It's like, yeah, good job, you got goals, but then like, why are you making such stupid mistakes? But a lot of other good things happened in this game. I don't want to make it sound like it was all bad. Like Axel Janssen Fialbi got his first NHL start in this game. And unfortunately, we weren't able to see much of him. And that's because in the second period, Nick Dowd goes down on a non-contact injury. We all know those are always the worst. And he leaves, goes to the locker room, does not return. And by the way that looked, I don't think he's going to be returning for a while. And because he leaves the game, the other three centers have to rotate a lot more frequently. And that in turn meant the fourth line rookies did not get as much time as we would have hoped they would. AJF and Leeson getting just under six minutes in the game. But fun fact, AJF did actually get about 23 seconds of penalty kill time. In a tweet before this game, I said maybe it's a good idea if the Caps make someone else other than John Carlson the ice time leader for the Capitals for a few games, you know, just to give him a break. And while I appreciate the Caps organization taking my advice, even though in reality I know that no one from the Caps organization probably looks at my Twitter, this was not the reason I had in mind. Yeah, John Carlson wasn't the ice time leader in this game. Evgeny Kuznetsov was, but not for the reason that you want it to be. It's because when Nick Dowd goes down, Kuznetsov gets a lot more shifts. And I mean, that's fine because Kuzi is playing great hockey right now. I mean, look at that pass on Tom Wilson's second goal. That is... That is a superhero pass that no one has any business making. But he does it and it leads to a sweet goal by Wilson and that was an insurance goal that was needed, especially after Tom Wilson turned over the puck leading to the Bjork goal. Kuznetsov getting over 25 minutes in a game when John Carlson had just over 24 minutes a game and Ovechkin also had over 24 minutes in this game. Five minutes being on the power play. The power play, the power play scored. They went one for three on the power play in this game. And outside of that second power play, which looked absolutely terrible, the first and third ones actually looked pretty good. The third one actually converting. And that's because the Caps started moving around more. They started interchanging more. They started making the defenders move more. They weren't just all stagnant, except for Alex Ovechkin, but it's Alex Ovechkin and he's allowed to do that. Alex Ovechkin scores. He scores his 700. 141st goal of his career tying Brett Hall for number fourth overall and that's 11 goals in 12 games and fun fact that I learned this morning Alex Ovechkin has those 11 goals in 12 games none of them that's right zero none of them coming off his patented one-timer he is scoring different ways outside of that one-timer wristers in the slot deflections on net getting in front of goaltenders and scrambling for rebounds just wait when he starts dropping the one-timers, things are about to blow up. The Caps had 12 shots on net in the first period. Five of them came from Alexander Ovechkin. He actually only ended the game with six total, but five in the first period, this dude is on fire. He can smell number four. It is on his fingertips. He wants that one bad and pretty soon, we're gonna start talking about Yager. So the Caps down the Sabres, but like I said at the beginning of the video, 
Okay, well, it's just the Buffalo Sabres. Sorry to insult the Sabres like that, but it's true. It's just the Buffalo Sabres. They don't have number nine anymore. They have a few other guys like Olofsson who are pretty damn good and can be a threat, but not too many of them. And as a team, they just, they're not that intimidating. But it's good to finally get back in the win column. A game like this, while not being a statement game because there were a lot of issues out on the ice, it's still a confidence booster and that's gonna be needed in the next couple games. Two upcoming road games, one in Detroit, who we've already lost against in overtime, and then one against the Columbus Blue Jackets, and then we come back home on Sunday to play none other than the Pittsburgh Penguins. So while it is good that the Caps beat someone and got a little bit of their confidence back, the good gameplay is going to have to severely outweigh the bad gameplay in these upcoming games if you're going to beat these opponents. Special teams are going to have to be on point. The power play did convert 33.33 repeating percent this game, and the penalty kill was perfect. The penalty kill, they just looked fire. The Sabres just had no chances in their three power play attempts, and I'm pretty sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the Sabres even had a shot on net in their three power plays. And I think we have Janssen Fialbi to thank for that with his 23 seconds of penalty kill time. By the way, what is it with the Swedes and the amazing flow? Just look at these guys. That is just, just magnificent. If nothing else, we can all agree that the Caps are just the most good looking team in the NHL. Thanks for joining me on this episode. If you like the video, please smash that like button for me. It goes a long way towards promoting the channel and helping recommend the content to other Caps fans who might enjoy it. And if you enjoyed your time here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you come back and we have now 70 games left to cover after this one. And as always, Caps fans, let's go Caps!